Here we are asked to find the length of this line here, line AC. And we are given the area of the circle to be equal to 12.6 meters square. Now, since they said the area of the circle is 12.6 meters squared, what information does this convey? Recall the general formula for the area of the circle is pi r squared, where r is the radius. So, we can equate pi r squared to 12.6. So, we're going to have pi r squared is equal to 12.6. But, if you look here, they said pi equal to 3.142. So we can substitute it into the equation. Now we are having 3.142 r squared equal to 12.6. Dividing both sides by 3.142. This here, 3.142 will cancel 3.142. And here, 12.6 divided by 3.142. Press the calculator, it's equal to 4.01. So r squared is equal to 4.01. Now to find the exact value of r, we find the square root of both sides. So we're going to have square root of r squared equal to square root of 4.01. Here square will cancel square root. So we are left with r equal to square root of 4.1. The square root of 4.1 is 2.0024, which approximately equals to 2. So now the radius of this cycle here is found to be 2 meters. So let's bring it here and keep it. Now coming back to this uh, line here, line AC, to find its length, since this angle here is 28 degree and it's an angle subtended by this arc here to the circumference, we can take the diameter of the cycle from this point here from this point of the arc so we take the diameter now can introduce another line here from here to here so now we have another angle subtended by the same arc to the circumference with one of the line with one of its line being the diameter so now since this is 28 degree, this will also this angle here will also be 28 degree because all angles subtended by an arc to the circumference in the same segment are equal. Recall the diameter of a circle is two times its radius. And we found the radius of the circle here to be two meters. So the diameter will be two times radius, which is called to two times two, since the radius is called to two. Two times two is four. So that means the length of the diameter is 4 meters. Hmm. Now coming back to this angle here. This angle is an angle subtended by a semicycle. And any angle subtended by a semicycle to the circumference is a right angle. And that means this angle here is a right angle, meaning 90 degree. So now if you look here, we are having a right angled triangle. Let's label this point, point E. So from this triangle now, triangle ACE, to find the length of line AC, we use the Soka Tua rule from this angle here. From this angle here, this line here is a hypotenuse since it's the longest line and also facing the right angle. And this line AC is the opposite facing the angle 28 degree. So these values alone are sufficient for us to use this rule here, SOH, to solve for the line. SOH just means sine theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Wait, recall since this is 28 degree, our theta is 28 degree. And here our opposite is line AC. Hypotenuse is 4 meters. So now sine 28 degree is equal to line AC over 4. 
simplify further, ln h will be equal to sine 28 degree times 4. Sine 28, if you press your calculator, is 0 0.4695. Now ln ac is equal to 0 0.4695 times 4. 0 0.4695 times 4 is 1.87. So now we found the length of this angle to be 1.87 meters.